What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here. In today's video, we'll discuss about a brand new Misaka update, which brings support for dynamic link libraries that can be injected in applications to simulate tweaks. You can basically install tweaks inside applications without being jailbroken. We're gonna get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by Formiki, a software that allows to remove iCloud activation lock from your device if it's an iOS 16 or iOS 15 device. It supports iPhone 10 and older, and it does support turning off the camera sound and even removing the Apple ID. The program is available as a free trial as well for both Windows and Mac OS and it does support iOS up to iOS 16.7. Now the program can be used for various reasons, for example stuck on activation lock screen, unable to activate, other activation errors or the iPhone could not be activated because of a SIM card issue and stuff like that. Definitely check the program out in the link below, available at Tenorshare.com. So just a couple of hours ago we got the Misaka version 3.3.7 which is now available. After this we got the version 3.3.8 but that one was actually rolled back because it had some issues. So right now the version 3.3.7 is the latest and this one brings only one thing. So you can basically inject dynamic link libraries directly into applications using this and those can contain tweaks. So the latest version is available now here on my website as well. You can find the changelog as well as how to install it. And this is basically the preliminary support for the new bootstrap system that will be launched in 3.3.8. But for now, the 3.3.8, as I said, was rolled back. However, you should update right away to the version 3.3.7. It also includes a couple of bug fixes. So you can install Misaka Package Manager, which allows you to have tweaks on your device without being jailbroken using Sideloadly or Altstore or any other method you want. You can also install it with Trollstore and you can install Trollstore with Misaka as well. So the way you would do this, you would install Misaka with Sideloadly first, install Trollstore with Misaka and then install Misaka with Trollstore, which would give you Misaka forever basically without expiring, without seven days and revokes and stuff. That's basically the process on that. But if you don't want to use the Trollstore, you can go ahead and use Sideloadly instead, but you will have to re-sign the app every seven days. So once this app is installed, you can install various tweaks and themes on iOS 16, all the way up to iOS 16.5 and 16.6 .6 beta 1 and you will be able to do so without being jailbroken. Soon more tweaking support will be added including tweaking in apps to Misaka so definitely stay updated. Thank you for watching, I am GF Snow, till the next time, subscribe and peace out.